It's me and Slug. 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 Why don't you love me? Anyway, so what we're doing this morning is getting that moisture off the windscreen. And we need to bring all of the prime line ewes that have escaped through all the fences down into this paddock here with the cows. So they're easier to feed. We've been doing some fence repairs and we are hoping these fences will contain them. This is the paddock they're meant to be in. I think there's 10 here. There's five. And here's another five. Oh no, no, six, seven. Oh, we've got 13 sheep. Hell yeah. To the gate, please, ma'ams. I can't see very well. This window needs a wash, slug. Would you like to give it a wash? See out the open window, that's all good. Half of them went through the fence, but we got there. Now we just need to get the half that went through the fence. There they are there. We're slowly moving them along, absolute fresh fiends. Um, they are just running as lambs do. Good to see they haven't calmed down after almost being a year old. Oh, they're gonna go straight through that fucking fence. God, you just came through there, you fucking. Yeah, just pick a fucking hole. Great, thank you so much. Really, honestly. Well, you may as well go through somewhere. For context, that's the same fence they just went through to get into here. Oh, now they're legging it down there. Who would have thought? I bet you they're going to the hole in the fence in the corner of the paddock that they've made. Yep, they are. Who would have thought? Let's just keep going from hole to hole. That's what she said. Or he, I don't fucking care at this point. Papa, come here. Papa, come here. Topo, get through. Come on. Topo. Teach them a lesson, please. Thank you. Block the fucking hole. Topo. Send them back through the fucking hole they came out of. Probably a bit late for their mothers, but the, the, the more recent one. Yes, go back. Go back, you mongrels. And now they're running again. So we need to get back in the... Oh, look, another hole they've made. <whistles> yes, chase them up. All right, can we try the gate now after we've tried about seven fucking holes? Oh, you beautiful swine. Excellent. Right, now we just need to get them down the hill and into the cow paddock. Oh, fuck. No, too far, too far, too far. Good girl. Charge down here, bitches. Absolutely fucking run. Yeah, they would, wouldn't you? Typo, go right. <whistles> yeah, steal with them. Thank you. Deal with them. Excellent work, very good. I'm gonna run up here because it is an overcorrection. There we go. And we continue down. A very moist slug, so moist you have steam. Nice. I am the fence doctor. Today's victim is a victim of the cows. Wire doctor. I think I was fence doctor. So basically, this was moved across to here. That one's been moved across to make the panel smaller. It's kind of been squashed down. By doing this, hopefully, that's going to... Well, it's not going down, so the fence is now up. And they theoretically should be stuck inside. Temporary fix, guys. All right, just give me a break. Now we just need to feed all these bottle raised ones. They're all the ones, these are the bucket lambs, all of these here, as you can see. Come on, little beans, come and have some food. 
Come on over here, come. Now, to be clear, these are friendly because they were hand raised. She's like, piss off, dude. I want to eat. Come and have her munchies. There she is. There she goes. Come on, little dudes. Over you go. Come on, over to the munchies. See how less feral these are in comparison to the others? That's your difference between hand raised and mother raised. Like, see how docile these are? Now they're eating. Excellent. Hang on, I need to feed the sheep. Typo, you're sitting on my remote. Get off my remote. Thank you. Excellent. As I was saying, I've slip slop slapped my hand and then I had some food and now I need to slip slop slap my face. And we're just heading out to bring the merinos in. All of the ones over their side of the farm need to come in um, to be dredged. I did fecal counts on them and they need to be dredged, so we're doing it. Um, around the corner and up the hill. So we've got a total fire ban and extreme risk day tomorrow for fires, so we better to have them on short grass rather than where they are which a fire would rip through no worries babe so we're back at the further sheep away now i'm just pulling into the back sheep's paddock and we're bringing them all in as one big mob i'll chuck the drone in the air because i reckon this is going to look pretty cool i crashed it the other day trying to see what my sheep were doing and we had to do a few repairs I haven't turned it on since, so I hope, I hope it still works. An expensive fuck up if it doesn't. All right, moment of truth. Take off. Oh my God, it still works. Oh, thank God. That was a big concern that it wasn't gonna work anymore. Okay, let's bring these sheep up. I can't tell you how brilliant it is to have aerial support right now. The fuckers are trying so hard to push up into these hills. But the drone, I could just keep putting it in the way and they will not fucking go near it. It's fantastic. I've got Typo on this side, keeping them this way. I've got the drone on that side. There it is. Somewhere there. Keeping them that... Typo! <laughs> keeping them that side and I'm just pushing them up. I'm having a jolly old time here. This is so good. <laughs> sit there i've just bought the drone back in i'm putting it away now because we're out of the paddocks where i need it and i've run out of storage space on it because i forgot to get another battery all right down to the shed let's do this i think they've already started walking down the lane we just need to catch up to them and send them down to the shed i wanted to talk about that sheep there that's losing its wool what that sheep's got is called a wool break what happens is, um, similar to people, if your body goes under stress or if you're stressed, your body will shut down the most useless things first in order to try and help you survive. So they will stop growing it for a period of time until the stress is gone. That causes a pause in the wool's growth, which causes it to be very brittle and weak and it will break off like we're seeing with this sheep. A number of things can cause it, nutrition, predators diet what's caused that particular sheep is she's been fly blown and that's what's triggered her stress and she's dropped her wool my pet sheep all had a wool break when i put them in a paddock with slightly less food because they were too fat if i'm in the shed with the sh these sheep later i'll show you a closer closer up okay we're here slug is making her way don't you fucking do that bullshit where you fucking turn around and you try to come out this way up you go. Up you go into the crevice, please. Thank you. Go into the shade. Typo is panting with her tonsils. Oh, good. No, the gate's shut. Hold them. I've opened the shed up. Are they still there? Holy shit, they are. It was very unexpected. I need to have more faith in my slug. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Typo's battling demons back there. I'm battling demons from the front. Good slug. Very good. I just went back to make sure I had all the sheep. And here somewhere I saw a brown snake on the track. 
I assume he's gone because the tractor's out. He was just here somewhere. Typo and the sheep were moistening in that dam, what, 10 minutes ago? Just shows they're everywhere, but you don't see them. Play the game, is it bark or is it a snake? I'm pretty sure that one's bark because it's been sitting there for a while. Not sure how keen these lambs are gonna be, but I'll see if I can get this, this shot from them. We'll see. What the fuck you doing down there? Um, we're feeding the lambs a wheat bean mix. As you can see, like so. These lambs have been had, I think this is their sixth feed. So we're starting to increase the amount of wheat at every feed. Um, I just need to bring the rest of them over. So these ones aren't just eating all the wheat. Are you dead? Okay, so we're back. Typo keeps squinting, so I'm gonna put her glasses on, her sunnies, because we don't want her to have wrinkles. Um, this is the brand, not sponsored, wish it was. This is her safety glasses one for when we're doing metal work. This is a sunnies version. It just pops back in like so, like this, like that. Here we go. We're ready for action. She's having a great time. Slag. Hello, Slag. Oh, and before you say, can she see? Slag. Yep, still can ignore me. Oh, I got this comment while I was having my lunch. Oh, fuck me. I see you're pretty new to the content, babe. So that sheep that was in the fence is called a prime line. Prime lines are gonna run through your fence regardless if they can see it or not. They can see the fences. As you saw at the end of the clip, it literally walked up to the next fence and fucking jumped it. People tell me to check my attitude. People need to check their brain cells. Just feeding these lamby lambs. There's a heap in here. These are your merinos as well as prime lines and crossbreds. So this is kind of like the tail end of what we've got. These probably won't be ready until April, end of March. I've just shut both of the gates into the holding paddock. I'm gonna let the sheep out, the merinos, dad's drenched them. I'm gonna let them out to this paddock for the rest of the day. Uh, we've got a total fire ban, a quite dangerous day tomorrow fire-wise. So we're kind of trying to keep the sheep onto low grass paddocks so if a fire does come through they should be right so we're just going to run the sheep through the bath and then out here and then give them a bale of hay to eat pop her in here come on Good girl. Uh, we'll make sure this bath is nice and topped up they were so keen to just go outside stay there do not come through this or you will sulk literally she walked through it what Oh no, sis. Ah, get out of it! Now you're gonna fucking sulk all afternoon. You watch. It'll be poor me. Poor little slug. Watch, you'll start walking funny in about probably 15 minutes. It's designed for hooves, not for toes. Not for little slug toes. Come on. Right, let's go, ladies. Out we go. Good slug. Typo, expand. Typo. Come on. Uh, there's the sheep with the wool break here. Now, there's meant to be slug. Two prime lines still in the shed. And dad's coming to shear four lambs. That is two prime lines in the shed. Hello, bitches. I see we've gone for a wonder again. I'll get the trailer. The trailer's on. I just need these two primies to get on it. I need you to get these two hoes. 
You would, wouldn't you? Papa, deal with them. Come on. Good girl. Good girl, very good. Alright, I bitches, you know the drill. Alright, ladies, this is you. Alright, come on. Hope, hope, hope. You jump fences, you jump the tail guys. Yes, that's what I thought. Alright, we'll head back down, take the trailer off. quickly show you before I leave we've got the two water trucks here ready for tomorrow if we need them this one's 6,000 litres I think that's another 6,000 litres that's just a semi with a with a tank on in the event you need it but the other one's a firefighting truck additionally we've got the speed disc down here in the event we need to cut a line in front of the front of the fire when you plow in front of a fire you just leave dirt and it makes it very hard for a fire to spread so if a fire is coming through a paddock you plow in front of it you can slow it down so that's why that's down also it's getting repaired but that's why it's still down here by my shit